animals, they need energy, they need protein. So that's what we're aiming to do now, is to, to be able to give farmers the information, how much protein is in that paddock, how much energy is in that paddock that you can utilise. I think what attracts me to the whole area of um, Professor Yule's research is that it's so in line with you know, the New Zealand economy. We've looked at how can we improve irrigation through soil mapping and precision irrigation. We think we can save between 20 and 30 percent of the water that people are using. Other types of things that we've done are looking at how do we improve fertilizer application. Our farms are getting larger and so what we wanted to do with the aerial scanning was actually to do a, a bigger area faster. How the technology works is that it works off the, the reflectance of the pasture and so being able to sort of measure that and then interpret the data and convert that into not just the amount of pasture that's available but also its, its quality measures around um, metabolizable energy and crude protein and that. We're applying the right type of fertilizer at the right time. Pilot doesn't have to intervene. All the pilot has to do is look straight ahead and this system will do it for them. So we have the possibility of a lesser application on some steeper ground, a full application on the, on the flat ground, and then avoiding some sensitive areas. I think that's where the difference between kind of innovation and research and, or commercialization is. You've got to create something that other people can use. As a university, our role is to sort of present the, that, um, that growth in a balance with the environment and actually show the way that you can actually have the two coexisting. Precision agriculture is really about developing um, innovative solutions that will be for the benefit of uh, the New Zealand farmers. What this technology brings is well into the, the tens of, and hundreds of millions of dollars.